International Pharmacy Graduates, IPG, Bridging Program. Immigrant Settlement and Integration Services, ISIS, is a leading community organization that welcomes immigrants. The vision of ISIS is a community where all can belong and grow. When internationally educated pharmacists immigrate to Canada and choose Nova Scotia as their new home, they bring with them university pharmacy education, professional skills and knowledge, and often years of experience as practicing pharmacists. They come prepared to study and work hard to qualify to practice their profession here. What they need is a little help, learning the ropes, finding out about the Canadian scope of practice, becoming comfortable with professional interactions and terminology, and familiar with the culture of Canadian pharmacy practice. The goal of International Pharmacy Graduates IPG Bridging Program is to facilitate the integration of internationally educated pharmacists into the Canadian pharmacy workforce. A unique program, it is designed to assist IPGs to learn about Canadian pharmacy practice and meet the required entry to practice standards. I'm one of the internationally educated pharmacists. So the qualification process itself for any internationally educated pharmacist when they come as newcomers to Canada here is an overwhelming process because we don't have a clear idea how would we go through the path to be a licensed pharmacist here in Canada. When I looked at that test, I said I won't be able ever to be a pharmacist here in Canada. The IPG program is customized, comprehensive, professional, and collaborative. To start their journey, every IPG client meets with an employment specialist at Immigrant Settlement and Integration Services, ISIS. The IPG and the employment specialist work together to review and navigate the pathway to licensure in Nova Scotia and choose from a comprehensive menu of programs and services that meet individual learning needs. IPGs are a diverse group, so the program takes a customized approach helping each individual IPG to develop a plan of action that takes into account individual learning needs, professional backgrounds, and aspirations. Whenever possible, this can begin prior to arrival in Canada. Um, I've been through also through many programs. One of them is English for Healthcare Professionals, which is the biggest barrier for us. So it was a very, very helpful program for me which helped to break the barriers between the differences in cultures between back home and here and have better understanding of the Canadian environment and the healthcare system here. Part of the program is the Communication Skills Lab. For most of the IPGs, OSCE, Objective Structured Clinical Examination, is a new kind of exam, an exam they are not exposed to in their countries. In the Communication Skills Lab, the students participate in a series of role-playing scenarios in a pharmacy setting that includes a simulated patient and a pharmacy assessor. The international pharmacy graduate counsels the simulated patient on a prescription. This interaction aids the students in their communication skills. The pharmacy assessor plays a key role in this setting, providing the IPG with valuable feedback, helping the students improve their counseling skills. ISIS has played a big role in introducing me to the system and how it works and find a work placement in a pharmacy where I volunteered for a month, got insight into how things work in a pharmacy and which are quite different to back home. After that, they helped in providing me with an opportunity to practice as an intern. ISIS acted like the link between me and the pharmacy owner. That's when my internship started. It helped a lot in my studies. It helped me understand um, a lot because when you're just studying the books, you don't have a face to what you're reading. But once you stand in a pharmacy and you can relate that to what you're studying, it helps a lot and it makes the process a lot more easier. My name is Tina Taylor. I'm the associate owner at Shoppers Drug Mart on Montfort Road in Halifax. I've been working with ISIS for over 10 years now and they were able to help me work with my business to allow us to integrate internationally trained pharmacists into our workflow. Here in Halifax, we have more cultural diversity than I really realized. And the benefits of having people working within my business that can speak other languages other than English has really proven to be effective in meeting the needs of our customers here. I have no hesitation in recommending 
uh, other employers take on a, uh, a client of ISIS uh, through the replacement program. It's been a big benefit to us here and uh, we've seen um, positive things in our business because of our involvement with ISIS. The IPG Bridging Program consists of the following components. Communications Skills Lab, weekly study groups and peer support, pharmacy online presentations, books and online resources. Certainly I would recommend it for um, the international educated pharmacists to come and participate in the programs. That would help them in so many ways uh, to break the language barrier and communication skills barrier. Going through the programs has helped me a lot to gain confidence and strength. I do recommend that people give it a try and uh, put your effort in and ISIS will put even more effort into supporting you. It's very beneficial. They're more like a friend than an institution. Coordinated by ISIS staff, in-kind support is provided by the Nova Scotia College of Pharmacists, the Pharmacy Association of Nova Scotia, Dalhousie Continuing Pharmacy Education, and many Canadian licensed pharmacists currently living and working in Nova Scotia. Funding for this bridging program is provided by the Department of Labour Force and Advanced Education, the Nova Scotia Office of Immigration, and the Government of Canada. For more information, please visit ISIS at www.isisns.ca